a grandfather of the people, a Māori leader of the highest esteem. These are some of the ways people have remembered the former Māori Affairs Minister, Koro Wetiri, who was buried today in Te Kuiti. More than 500 people gathered at Turanga Waiwai and Narawa Wahia this morning for a funeral service for Mr Wetiri, who died of cancer on Saturday, the day after his 83rd birthday. Our Māori news correspondent, Lee Marama McLaughlin, was there. <laughs> Lining the pathway at Tūranga Waiwai Marae, Kai Karanga in black wearing taua or crowns of leaves mourn the loss of Kurowetire. His two papaku was carried down the path, meeting a chorus of men with taiaha before leaving the marae. The crisp, cold morning started with church, followed by a hakari, where a huge spread of oysters, hangi, boil up and other kaimwana was served for breakfast. The funeral service was held in the marquees outside. Tuku Morgan from the Kingitanga paid the final tribute. You will never be forgotten because you will always be a father for all of us of Kingitanga. More than 1,500 people poured through the marae over the past few days for the tangihanga. Mr Wetere's cousin, Tom Roa, says he was a giant in politics and a personable man. He would spend time with kings, queens, Nelson Mandela comes to mind, Bishop Tutu, but he had no difficulty and coming to the back of the kitchen and sitting with people, even picking up a potato and, and peeling it. Koro Wetere was the MP for the Western Māori electorate for 27 years. That seat turned into what's known today as Te Tai Hauaru, which is now held by his nephew, Labour MP Adrian Rurafe. Uncle Koro, he made such a significant contribution at so many different levels across a whole spectrum of areas, including the Kingitanga, the Ratana Church, the Labour movement. Everything uh, that he did had a purpose, and yeah, it's quite daunting to follow in those footsteps. Alistair Ferris served Mr Wetere as his senior private secretary when he was the Minister of Māori Affairs in the 1980s. Kuru was one of those people, you know, old school, and um, he was a man of integrity, a man of his word, very much a family man. Often, Gurley, his wife, Mrs Wetere, would come into the office and his kids would pop into the office. <laughs> The Ratana Church's infamous brass band played today. Band leader Perinara Ririnui says Mr Wetere was a man of many talents and as a registered apostle of the Ratana Church, he joined people in marriage. Uh, he married a few and one of the most famous was uh, Mike Moore from Parliament. He was a uh, minister for, for the Labour Party. Uh, I think he might have been even the leader of the Labour Party at, at some stage. So he married Mike Moore. After spending some time at Oparure Marae near Te Kweti, Koro Wetere's body was buried at a whānau urupā. He is survived by his wife, five children and many mukopuna. Two other bodies had been lying in state alongside Mr Wetere, Parehi Kairo Fata and Inia Te Wiata, who were also buried today at Taupiri. Mo te hōtaka o te ahi pōnei, ko Lee Marama McLaughlin tēnei.